toe. Let's just finish up uh, ways with a little bit on hearing. And how does your hearing work? Well, if you do biology, you might have an idea. Obviously, there's your ear. Um, sound goes in here, goes to what's called the eardrum. And then you have a series of very complicated little bones uh, that then take it to um, the cochlea which is a fluid filled container that has this sort of uh, uh, spiral to it and inside there are a whole lot of tiny little hairs inside the liquid uh, and each of those hairs is uh, attached to a nerve and then that goes off to your auditory nerve which you then have hearing uh, and this is a section through the co uh, cochlea and so uh, we're going to show you a picture of that soon now how does your hearing work um, well it's these little hairs that uh, vibrate um, in the variations of the pressure and they will pick up um, the sounds and you hear that now the hairs are in groups and these tiny little hairs are tuned to different frequencies and this is a blow up this is a this is a magnification of this section here which is part of the cochlea and so there's thousands and thousands and thousands of these bundles of hairs and when you're born all the hairs are standing up and you can most people can hear pretty well and uh, but as you do damage to your hearing what happens is that these bundles of hairs get knocked over and they can't right themselves uh, basically and so you lose the frequencies that those um, hairs were, were sensitive to and that's what's, what happens when you uh, as you get older you start losing some of the frequencies um, you can also damage your hearing um, nowadays people use headphones and stuff and they're damaging their hearing and they won't notice it for a while but in a few years time they'll actually um, won't be able to hear sounds that they can now hear and we'll do this in the class we might actually test each other just at, um, our hearing range just with a, an audio amplifier um, another thing is uh, if you ever go out and you listen to go to a concert or something and you uh, come back and you have ringing in your ears um, they reckon that if that ringing in your ears is still there the next morning um, basically it's because uh, you've overexcited these these uh, nerves and if the ringing is still there in the morning you've probably permanently damaged your hearing and so I think I've got a picture of some that are uh, sound damaged yeah there we are so where's me Where's my pointer gone? So that's a normal uh, cochlea, and this is a sound damaged cochlea. And you can see bundles have been knocked over and destroyed, basically. And this is what happens to them as well. So you've got all these different lengths, which are different frequencies, or sensitive to different frequencies. Um, and if they get knocked over, you lose your hearing in those frequencies. Okay, and there they are. This is just an electron microscope picture of a cochlea and there's the bundles of hairs again well, I don't know if they're strictly hairs um, but uh, th they look like hairs alright and so you should now be able to do all the rest of questions that relate to waves and that pretty much wraps it up until we start doing light as a wave see ya